Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today I am gonna show you how to design with the golden ratio in Adobe Illustrator. Plus, I am gonna show you to how to utilize the negative space of this logo to create a really meaningful design. And before we start, guys, I have a challenge for you. I decided to create two versions of this logo. One is based on golden ratio and second is based simply on the grid in Adobe Illustrator. So, which one of these two, number one or number two, I created with golden ratio? I wait for your suggestions in the comments. So, let's start our tutorial. Golden ratio tutorial here in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start with a new document and first of all I am going to show the grid so control quote command quote on your mark to show the grid and I also want to snap to the grid so control shift quote command shift quote on your mark click L or grab the ellipse tool and start with the alt and shift draw from the center and we need to achieve 480 pixels ellipse just like so then uh, make sure that your scale tool, scale strokes and effects is deselected and uh, let's give it a black stroke and I'm gonna increase the stroke weight just so you can see what is going with my ellipse. So we have this ellipse and I want to use my golden ratio actions to size down several times so click here you can download for absolutely free guys and i also want to delete this second duplicate so and uh, grab these two guys the small guys and move them outside our circles just like so okay with these two circles grab the line tool or click back slash and start outside the circles and move this vertical line towards the center like so and increase the stroke weight brilliant grab the selection tool and no sorry grab the rotate tool click R and holding alt or option key click on the center of these circles and to the bottom end of this line. Let me scale a little bit so you can see where I'm clicking. Like so. In open dialog box, set the angle to 45 degrees. Like so. And click copy to make a duplicate. Then repeat this transfer transformation six times yes like so so we have in total eight segments you see it here now let's click ctrl a command a and grab the dirk's uh, shape builder tool shift m and slice the segments here just like so and this as well so next i'm gonna grab the selection tool and click delete draw a marquee and delete the rest of my design so to create a letter c real letter c then i'm gonna set the stroke to maintain the cons consistent stroke let's say to two three points Next, grab the ellipse tool again, click L, and let's draw an ellipse to round these corners, here and here. In order to do this, enter the outline mode, Ctrl Y, Command Y, and also disable snap to grid option, Ctrl Shift Q, Command Shift Q on your Mac. You can go also view and snap to grid here 
So with your ellipse selected, let's draw an ellipse to fill this segment. So all of these sides should be tangent. So all of them should be all of them should be in place. And again, guys, as in my previous sticker tutorial, we need to set the keyboard increment and make sure that you align to pixel grid is tuned off. Very well. Next, draw a marquee, select this part, grab the shape builder tool again, click shift M and OK, we need to align better, I believe. Let's try again, shift M, brilliant, brilliant. So slice these two parts and delete them with the selection tool. Great. Now select this tool and again shift M, grab the shape builder tool and combine these two segments into the whole shape. So looks well and you know guys I'm gonna delete this guy and just simply Rotate this. Where is the rotate action? I believe this reflect reflection. So Control C, Control F, and then click on the reflect horizontal. So guys, to bring up the actions menu, you can go to the Windows Actions. You see it here. You can also also transform by golden ratio in Adobe Illustrator right here so just link between width and height and then divide let me show you what i mean and then set uh forward slash and 1.618 this is uh six six was one eight it's a uh, fee value and you will and click tab to proceed and you will divide in the golden ratio in or if in case if you do not want to grab my action and uh, speed up your workflow so let's sorry let's grab this part and place it here you see smart guides control u command u help us to do this and now guys it's very important very important size of this uh, part of this tutorial we need to grab this tool and I'm gonna select them both and place them just like so so select this segment select these three guys grab again shape builder tool and Select this tail, grab selection tool, draw a marquee, delete rest of your design, and we all are, we have built a golden ratio logo with an active negative space that plays the role of the dialog box. You see it here. So it's a great design for, for example, for chart. Yes. But I also want to select all of these segments, grab the I key and fill it with colors. To create a little bit more meaning and you can tell me in the comments what these colors really mean and to whom this logo intended so and in the end guys as always don't forget that I have a real automation course and I just uploaded four new due to the 
8th of March, you can watch them absolutely free on udemy.com. So you can go to the link on the description and enroll in my course where I'm gonna show you how to automate the most boring stuff in Adobe Illustrator. So last, I'm gonna answer the question. So this design was built on the golden ratio and this design the second one in my question was built without golden ratio based on the simple grid so what of this letter c looks better so guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to visit vitorials.net for latest vector tips both in Gravit Designer and Adobe Illustrator. And as always, enjoy your day.